Tonight, two big issues on the agenda for Nebraska's biggest school district. One of them would give some Omaha students a new place to go after school without leaving school. KTV News Watch 7's Jeremy Massel joins us live. It's Robin Brandy, more on that potential partnership with Boys and Girls Club in a minute. But first, the major changes that could be coming to Howard Kennedy Elementary that may include longer days, a longer school year, a new principal, and many new teachers. Omaha's Howard Kennedy Elementary faces unique challenges with some of the greatest need among students and despite recent gains, some of the lowest standardized test scores in the state. We can't ask schools, we can't ask teachers, we can't ask administrators to do this alone. We can't ask the school uh, to be out here on this island and say, you know, somehow magically raise these scores. Othello Meadows and the nonprofit 75 North wants to change that, along with the nearby Highlander neighborhood. Plans call for this open land to become a mixed income neighborhood with retail and community space focused on families and cultivating achievement among children. The plan would transform Kennedy Elementary using a purpose built model, including these changes. It would be an extended day, an extended year. They're looking at a STEAM project, they're looking at um, revitalizing the neighborhood. They're taking a look at having a math and a reading lab. And education from cradle to college. But that comes with extra expenses, millions. At first, 75 North and other grants would subsidize the additional expense, but OPS would assume the total tab in 10 years. A grant to help fund planning and some early expenses could also mean OPS installs a new principal and must replace 50% of its teachers. Supporters know that will be demanding. It represents a fundamental change, and, and change isn't easy. But they say it is needed to build on recent achievements at Kennedy and turn it into one of the top schools in the state. And the board approved that plan. Another big change for other schools. The Boys and Girls Club says it's interested in setting up clubs at individual schools where new construction allows. Private funds would cover the costs for the dedicated space, allowing kids to go straight from school to the supervised programs Boys and Girls Clubs offer within the last 15 minutes. I'm told the OPS board did approve that potential partnership moving forward. Back to you, Rob.